Okay. Morning, guys. Uh, let me put the sound a little more down. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you guys have a great day. Start to get a great day. So, I don't know what's happened with this camera, my side camera. So, I'm going to work with this and let's show you guys what I have. So, this is the work of yesterday. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, and when I was making the weathering, I flip here the can and so I just put now in the right position guys so thanks a lot for the guys they send me I flip it and <laughs> yes I flip it so today this is going to the obi kit store and for the guys see how this is when and today we are going with this if you guys want to see the um, the um, review, it's on my channel. So, uh, but now you can see the way. Okay. So, just this, and it brings uh, these instructions that I show you how to put. Uh, the end of the, of the symbol and this is very easy this kit it's very very easy guys okay so let me see okay the gun the machine gun it's in three pieces and I think the guy it's okay I think it's easy okay the assemble of one and the assemble of the second okay so this brings two machine guns and I don't know why why it's doing this I got a little problem with the frames and I don't know why, let me see, maybe too much light for the camera, now I think it's not making nothing of that, uh, yep, not freezing now, so I got two screws and two sets to work, so let choose one okay I'm going to have here the instructions I got here my glue good morning and horn how are you uh, so I need my tweezer not this one this one and let's start cutting this X knife here on the side. And first, let's cut the base. The base are very nice. They have a good, nice of nice details. But I'm going to use the sand gravel glue and some sand and some little stones for this. So let's cut the base. Okay. Use the file. Only to cut. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Sorry, I got the monitor out of my eyes. So let me put that where I can see. Okay, now it's what I can see. Okay, the base, it's done. Here, just a little more, okay. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. So, let me see what we are going to build first. Maybe the best it's the machine gun because we have to put there and I think it's going to be more easier. So this is going to be like this. So let's assemble the machine gun. At this time, remember, this is very fragile, okay? You need to support the piece when you are sending, or this not to broke. Okay. On the second video of today, if not to go wrong, uh, we'll start painting the couple wagon. Okay, uh, it's already all assembled. I just put the door on the open position for the driver, and today I'm going to paint this with African uh, corpse color. Okay, it's going to be that sand yellow, and so guys. If you want to see, it's going to be about uh, four uh, of the afternoon, okay? So, this then. Now, let's get... pieces of the goods it brings one harm okay attach to the gun and the other is going to the gun too so let's cut the arm and the machine gun Okay. So I'm going to paint the couple wagon, and but uh, I'm going to make uh, a little of the weathering, but not too much because I will try to finish that. I I finish the the tent and the other thing I'm going to finish it's the plane and then when I'll start doing the diorama then I will weathering all okay because I want to make the same weathering almost to everything okay around the area okay let me see this is going to be there hmm? let me see Okay, so I got here this one, but I'm going to put first the figure, okay? The figure it's the A1 and A2. So the figure it's this one. A3, so this is all we're going to need for the assemble. This arm is so little guy. Okay, we got one, so sending time. Careful here on the helmet.
shall move this not to flat the element. of the same paper okay just to be careful you can make this not flat okay so this is going to be done so don't worry too much have here uh, a little line but don't send it okay this is line it's for the the bag okay and of course don't remove this pin It's time to use the same paper, a little band, and try not to lose details. And I got here this big one too. Here the harm. Oops, the harm is not going to be easy. Ah, not too, too difficult too. So guys you can see this is <laughs> very little. <laughs> and here on the elbow. Try not to lose this arm okay done so let's start snapping all these okay let me see so I will start putting some glue okay because the glue it's going to help to melt and soft this okay fit was nice okay now we got the arms now just a little bit there okay it's not so good so it's very tight so sometimes I think it's better to broke this pin so what I do I broke the pin guys it's better ok 
Okay, send there and send these. Okay. And first, let's put this one and see if I don't need to make the same thing. Okay. Okay, this one went nice. So now I'm just going to put the other arm there. Don't want to stay. So because this have a little curvature, so I advise you to remove that beam. Just working this, and I got too much here. Here on the sides, let me see. So patient, guys. Just need a little. can cut a little the pin so I am carving a little this and let's hope okay I know what they try to make this to make nice so now I'm using what I carve and this put this on a good position okay now it seems natural yeah, it's just okay now let me Put this. Oh, the wheels are very bad. Let me see. Okay. This is like this. Okay, the wheels. Uh, there, okay. So here it's going to have that flag. I'm going to uh, cut the flag just to see where I must then glue the, the guy. Okay, this is for the game. There are guys not understand what what these figures are for okay it's for war games 
and this is for the system of art of tactic of them okay I will do the review and I will uh, explain how to play this game so I am just waiting for the there are um, five six sets of this game okay and I'm waiting for the operation Barbarossa and then I will put here on the channel and I will show how to play okay so I'm going to put here the flag okay this flag it's for you to write the name uh, the number okay of the figures okay so let's build the other and then I will glue all okay I will glue the guys here and I will paint the these figures on this okay I know it's more difficult but what what I want it's complicated things okay <laughs> so let's get the other oh so this is for they have this point up here okay it's this one for putting on the base here but on the chest you just cut all okay this nut this little pin here on the leg So this is the chest, I'm not worrying about the details, just more here on the front. Okay, okay. now let's go to the helmet. Good morning Barnes, how are you my friends? Welcome. So, don't want to lose the details. Okay. This guy don't have too much details on his face, so don't worry too much. <laughs> can see it. It's an ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> so let me put this here and let's get together so guys remember today painting the Koopa wagon and let's see how it goes uh, for that I'm going to use MIG Rimeni paints okay On these kits from Zveda, I am using uh, uh, Valero paints, okay? But on the weathering, it's almost always Mikrimenes, okay? For these little figures, uh, I use acrylic washes, okay, from Valero too. So it's more quickly, and the technique I use, I think it's it makes a nice work. <laughs> I will subscribe your channel, Barnes. Okay, I always subscribe all the channels. And I will see your channel. Oops so carefully here it's going to broke okay so to prevent that let's put just right now a little glue there okay and try this to melt so expect this oh my god and then it will go on the two oh my god so it's normally it's going to broke 
Yes, um, what I'm going to do on this kit from Tamiya, you don't have the, um, the decals, okay, for the African corpse, okay, so what I'm going to, to do, I got uh, a Panzerwagen uh, too, um, but I'm not going to paint that in African corpse, so I'm going to use that, uh, just see some some photos and uh, I can do with African corpse okay and normally uh, I try to do uh, cor uh, historic correct but normally if uh, I see it can't be I don't worry too much okay so I'm not putting that so 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 strong to, to just history okay some guys <laughs> may be mad with me but I like to do something different sometimes okay you see what I do I open a little the hole with the X knife so I think it's better and you don't have that problem here the feet it's it's awesome okay well, I'm going to sell it this <laughs> I am from Portugal okay uh, but I have so, uh, a language I have um, what can I say a little problem because um, I can speak a little of Russian and I spent some time in Spain, <coughs> so I speak Spanish too. And with with the talking uh, French, uh, Portuguese, uh, a little German, a little Russian. So it, sometimes my pronounce <laughs> it's a little odd. I know. So I I am from Portugal, okay, and my mother language it's a little <laughs> difficult too so I got this all a little um, difficult okay so open a little more it's I know it's better so this is going to be like this okay and it went awesome okay guys if you are doing this open with this or uh, something like this okay because it's better okay so you put there just wait a little and then go now let me try to Cut a little here this. <coughs> so nice. But my language problem, the, the worst, it's uh, German. Okay, I, I got lots of German friends. And uh, normally I talk English with them because it's better for me and for them to, <laughs> to understand me. But I, one thing I like is to uh, talk other language and so for that my pronounce it's so bad. And, and I write um, English more better than Portuguese, okay? I'm so used uh, to write in English and talk in, in English, and it's like that. Today I was talking with a Spanish uh, friend, uh, writing on Facebook, and so things wrong, okay? And I live uh, um, 
some years on Spain, so it's not. I can do better. <laughs> okay, you see this snap uh, and this I cut it, so my mistake. So let's put this again there. So these pins are nice because they are going to correct the position of your figure. Okay. So I'm going to glue and I'm going to put this So now let's start putting glue Yes it's because of the grammar okay in my in my language uh, like the French uh, the grammar is so many verbs, okay? And English is very easy on grammar, so it's like that. So let me. Oops, okay. I'm trying now to move. And these two because of ear of the ammunition. So the best way is to put glue and wait this to dry. So go with this. Okay, my finger I don't know. <laughs> Slovakia um, you are from Can Canada I am I have a family on Toronto and this kit normally uh, indoors uh, it's about five or five or six dollars okay and euros it's the same five five and a half okay this on on the store I uh, grab this it's about five euros okay the set for the game it's it's completely different okay this is for war games and if you write there uh, what I write on the video art of tactic you can see this is a, a like a game a, a game board you can play uh, but it's like the others uh, war games like uh, flames of war okay if you want you can play on a big diorama too okay so for now uh, the guys i know play more <laughs> than that the, than me war games this is one of the best on the market okay so the only problem on this on the maybe on the uh, some of countries on Europe and USA it's because they don't have um, US troopers okay so they have the the German uh, the Russian and they have now they release the last year uh, the British force okay and, and they don't have nothing of Canadian okay but I know for a friend of mine from Zveda, uh, they are going to put some Canadian troops and the USA troops. Okay, so this war, this um, game, it's awesome, very awesome. Okay, we play this. Uh, they every single guys have a, uh, a card, and it's very good. Uh, there are um, reviews of the game, the Art of Tactic, on YouTube go and see it and I I advise you guys to see because this is very good and you can play with your friends okay just open the box put that all there and it's ready to go okay you don't need a very expensive uh, diorama to play okay so you can go to a park and play on the bench on the park too <laughs> so it's very good so the first it's glued so I'm going now 
leave this to dry so just putting some glue in some areas is to blend good okay I'm just going to put here on some areas a little sand then I will wait this to go Yes, they have some some Shermans too, but uh, it's um, it's different. Okay, it's not so you don't have the the figures. Okay, um, so they are putting there and they are seeing who, who, if they sell or not. Okay, if the guys going going to buy or not. Okay, but. I am now at the moment I will build a lot and a lot of these little uh, figures and tanks and planes they have planes they have boats too so I'm going to keep you guys all informed all, all about this game okay so uh, on in, even on the hobby kit store okay where uh, where I am from uh, we are going to start uh, championships of these uh, games and maybe I will do some live streamings of that okay for the guys who want to see okay so I will put a lot of this but I am oh, I'm going to continue to work on my 135 scale that it's my uh, my choice of scale and I will continue that okay so let me grab right now sent and gravel to here okay and for this I'm just going to use the sand and maybe some little tiny rocks here so oops don't fall okay so I know how to build this I know if I use the X knife to open the, the holes it's better so it's what I'm going to do for that then I will glue all the things there so let's cut this again sorry guys to see this work in double but for now it's what we need okay so this is come in one set and for the price i think it's awesome and in this scale you got if you like to um, to work on 135 scale this scale it's awesome for you train your techniques painting by hand uh, even on, on airbrush so it's a very good for training um, I'm going to start uh, building uh, some um, whoops okay I forgot to put here this I will put on the end I don't forget okay camera freezing again okay so this is the cover of the machine gun I will put later okay mm so let's get this again maybe I will this, use this just to make a nice clean cut okay here too why not This thing from my internet connection is bad now. Okay, so like this, I am making more clean cuts with the X knife. You just have to have careful. Okay, so the guy with the machine gun, it's this one. okay now I don't forget that pin awesome let's get the other leg
So they put these little things just to you can mount this without glue and play this without painting and weathering, okay? But I think it's better. I got some guys uh, ask me to, to paint their their figures and tanks, so I'm going to put on my live streams to painting uh, figures and tanks, okay, planes for war games, and you guys can see. So I'm going to try to put this on the morning. Uh, on the morning so on the afternoon it's another thing okay if you cannot see at the moment okay you can go and see later okay now here the hair the helmet it's yeah, I must control better piece. And I don't know why today this is freezing so much just let me reset here a little the buffer Okay, you are seeing the other side, okay, here it's good. It's still okay. So changing the camera. So I got here some problem with the, my principal camera. And I don't know why. Okay. And it's still freezing. I don't know why. Maybe the light? Mm. Let me. Just a minute, guys. Now it's if better or not. So, but for me, for my eyes, it's worst. And it's yes, let's see. Yes, it's light. Definitely, it's the light. Sincerely, guys. I don't know why 
it's doing this today. <laughs> Let me try to see the problem. And yes, it's still freezing. Oh my freaking... it and I don't know why it's doing this so let's try to solve a little the problem Sorry about this guys, but I don't know the problem. Just changing here the camera. I change the camera. And with this camera at the moment I don't have any problem. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the other camera and see later what happened. guys just a second uh, yes it's open goes so this is a, an HD camera but it don't have that focus uh, good focus so I'm going to see what happened with it with that camera I'm going to do some tests so for that I'm going to continue working with this one and maybe I can pull more this Okay, to see you guys see better. So, or this. Okay. So, bad thing, bad thing. So, open the holes. No, it's not YouTube. It's here, some problem with the camera. Because on this camera you see, you don't, uh, you don't make any freeze. I think it's, uh, I got three cam cameras, and I think it's the, the third camera. It's making some mistake. Okay. Okay. First then. No. 
let's open here the holes on the arms too so it's better to have these big holes and the snap it's good because I'm going to glue it so guys don't worry on the afternoon I'm going to have this solved my god so let's get my end drill let's open better this like this I think it's better okay let's do the dry fit is here it's not so good this one okay we got this so let's try to correct the shape just with sanding okay it's easy and then we apply the glue to smooth on this side too so guys if you, you want you can put more work on this put some booty but sometimes it's not the best Okay, what you can do is just press this to align better and then just bend a little the machine gun. Okay. Now let's put this here. Same thing. So guys, you can see even open this it's, they put this very the fit to be very bad so now it's much better now the problem of this camera I cannot show you this is not don't have any autofocus Yes, this is 172 scale, okay, um, but on the vehicles uh, they are uh, one, 100, okay, for this scale, this one it's for, um, it's 172, okay. So, now, just me put glue. Yeah. 
here on the gun too. Yeah, the machine gun. Okay. So let it start drying. Let me put these drill bits here. I don't want to lose anyone. And let's cut the other one and put it together. better like this yeah it's that I need to be very careful not to snap it um, at the moment we are doing the the we got this uh, site, but the, the the online store it's not available right now. But we are doing that. <laughs> when when I have the, all that done, I will tell you guys. The problem on this store, uh, this store, it's uh, a little big, and uh, we have lots of things it's not just not um, plastic kits okay we got uh, air seekers we got drones uh, puzzles um, uh, more die cast okay uh, we got a lot of die cast we got the trains okay um, I, it's a massive store okay so it's giving a uh, hard time to to put all together on the on the on the web so when it's done i will tell you all you guys so here is the end drill Here the bit. So. Let's open the other side now. Just a little more here for the entry goes nice. Let's see your leg. I think it's going to be good. So look. Waiting, send the helmet, and it's almost done. 
this one. Put this needs to open a little this and try not to broke. more the glue and now let's put here on the base right there the pin okay now let's put the leg down okay and we just glue here a little As you can see, easy. And it's done. So let's cut now the flag. Put the flag down and then the shields of the machine gun and we can go and paint this just a little I'm going to take a, a call okay Sorry about that guys, it was a customer, okay, so I need to answer the customer. So I'm not gluing the, the flag, and you can see the set it brings to, okay. So now just this protection, okay. one and let's grab the other they send you these uh, little bars if you want to put this on the diorama and you don't want these bases okay you can use this for support or not okay so it's up to you guys so okay you see this done <laughs> no, it's not Zvena. <laughs> the guys I know from Zvena, they are very, very, very nice. So let's put this together. Um, this band part is for the front. So just give me just a little sand here. Okay. It's better. Let me 
let's see this is right there on the front okay you see it's so easy to put there again so let's put the other okie dokie so my fingers are big and it's not open mm. this is the times I want to say some bad words the other went like butter and this one I don't know why <laughs> it's giving me our time so let's grab a more powerful tweezer you yeah, have more grip and so okay now it's in place the fit on this is normally it's very tight uh, very tight because this is ready not to use any glue okay so it's that why sometimes it's so difficult just remove here the bit guys okay I don't want to break this Okay, so next part, I'm going to use the sand and gravel glue with uh, what I have it, a pipit, okay, and I will use some of this. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I am, um, I, my life, I like to, um, to have lots of humor, okay? And I like uh, the most common humor or the most dark humor, okay? So for me, it's very important to laugh, okay? Okay, so let's grab here where I got uh, the tweezer. If you see a guy entering here, call snore. So prepare for lots of uh, comedy. <laughs> okay, so just put some sand in some areas. is not working so good okay let me go here yeah. this is cat litter guys so let me have here one block oh this is too big so this is the time you must choose the rocks for this Little 
Hello, making models. How are you, my friends? I'm always good. I hope you, my friends, are too. So, just putting here some rocks. Okay. Like this, okay, and this very little tiny one, yeah, okay. Now, just using the sand, oops, the sand gravel, okay, I know this is an on mirror and I don't know why. Uh, peep it. Grab some juice, uh, just drop. Good thing of on this, it will dry quickly, and this is not telling you guys to buy this, but this is the best uh, thing I know for this kind. Of work, okay. Okay, so as you can see, I use about eight drops, so this is not this is not expensive, okay, guys. It's, it's about five euros, okay, and it's going to go along very very time so let's close these things okay and the next step I'm going to give this a blow with my air dryer okay just this is like a can a uh, kind of resin okay and for that this um, and they're very fast to dry. Okay, let me grab my trash can. I need to put here. So and it's ready. So because of my camera, it's not being nice. I will push. Uh, this for here so just a minute guys I'm grabbing my airbrush near to me okay so I need to open what is this I'm open this okay for my airbrush handling Chinese airbrush, okay, for this, and I am going to use a zero three point needle, okay, for the put this, okay. It's, you don't see it, but I am putting here. Ah, maybe you can see. It. Let me see if I can. Okay, oh, you can see what I am doing. Okay, um, water. more my brush okay for the mixing and of course the primer uh, the primer uh, let me see yes Vallejo primer uh, my airbrush flowing over and now important thing my moving 
okay to work uh, like to use this okay so I got I think I got everything now me the water dirty water okay the water normal water I got everything so first step a little with the air dryer another thing guys if you are you if you use the air dryer like I do careful never to put this near a paint okay or a primer or a glue okay because this is going to change the properties of the paint so when you are using air dryer don't have any around you okay sometimes I have so sometimes I'm clumsy but it's an advice okay it's going to make a difference uh, change the properties of, of the, the glue uh, the, the paint and you, you see when you paint it's um, it's more thick and sometimes it's not so good out of the airbrush okay So this dry about 10 minutes uh, using a little of the air dryer, but if you leave this to dry, it's um, about half, half, an hour, half an hour and you can work, okay? The PVA glue is not going to dry in, on that time, okay? And for this I think it's not so good, okay? This is more sticky, and when when I put on a drop on, on the rock, it's going to involve all the rock and grab on the ground. Okay, and that thing it's going to grab in everything you put. If you put in plastic, in metal, whatever you you put that that glue, it's going to glue. When you see it start changing and you can see the the gravel I put in the, the, the sand, it's when you know it starts to dry. Okay. Let's put this one straw. So now I can put primer, so just me turn my compressor. Okay, and let's see how it flows out of the airbrush. Nice, so surface primer black, okay, from Vallejo. When you are, when you are going to paint? some uh, bases where you put gravel and grass and we are going to paint that always paint in black okay because the black is going to give you shadow okay and I'm going to paint the ground with a brush okay so for that I need black down down okay because the areas where I'm going to missing to put the paint because of the black on the down your eyes are going to see it's uh, a shadow okay and it's not a missing spot okay but it's my my way of thinking <laughs> and it's working so far good with me so okay 
I put here six drops of this, one drop of flowing prover, and two drops of water. Now let's mix this. So normally you paint from the darkest for the light, okay, on dioramas and on these things uh, the most common is using dry brush techniques so nothing better to have the black down, okay. So let's start painting this. Go light. to third my and okay and that wait a little to dry now I can the end here Okay. So now just a little with the air dryer. You are welcome and I I try to show my uh, way of doing okay and there are lots of ways of doing this but um, and, and other ways correct okay but this is my way and I like to share what I do okay now guys as you can see uh, let me see. You can see the ground, okay? Uh, the the rocks, the sand. So we got now texture. So it's awesome. It, this time, if you see, if you think you got to put more, okay? Just put more sand, put more sand and gravel blue, and paint again on black. So the last coat, okay? Now let me grab and see. All position, okay, just this is not the color, okay, so this is the to have something to grab the paint.
Okay, then now it's time for cleaning. The primers, it's the worst thing for um, arm your airbrush, okay? And if it's, it's acrylics, it's bad. It leaves so many uh, little particles. Uh, will go and stay on your noodle. and clean inside of the cup here okay okay clean always your airbrush guys always so Let's close this and it's time to remove this for the side, turn the table and let's put the guys here again and just using a little my air dryer. Okay, my friends, catch you later, and thanks for stopping by. Okay, first thing on this is to paint the uniforms of these. So I got here, let me put and see where I got that color uh, let me see I, I'm okay it's on top of that boom so let me try with the tweezer to grab it this one okay yes I got here the, this is the right color it's the Russian uniforms of World War II. Okay, this is the green I'm going to need for that. And down there, okay, I'll use the model color English uniform, okay, for the back here on the boot, okay, for that. And I got, let me see, the colors we are going to need. I'm going to need some color wood color okay i got here this i'm going to use for that and we are going to have a different color on the helmets okay and for the for the helmets i'm going to put this um yellow olive okay so if you want the figures your figures to pop out uh, use a different color on the helmets okay so it's it's better guys believe that okay uh, I'm going to need a light flash no light flash I'm going to need I got light uh, flash not this light flash this is too too I'm going to use the medium flesh tone, okay? And then I will use this skin tone from Air, uh, Model Air. And this is going to be very diluted with water. Uh, I just need one more. 
Just forgive me, I'm... I am... Um, see, where is it? It's too... This maroon beige, okay, beige brown. This for the stripes there, and this is for the grounds. So, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven color for these guys, okay? And for the machine gun, I'm going to use uh, Gen Metal, okay, from Vallejo Tooth. So, this is all Vallejo colors, and let's choose what I'm going to use for this. I got this for the details, okay? It's a 2-0 and the 10-0, okay? This is very tiny. You almost, you can see the hairs, okay? Uh, I'm going to use from, this is Kolinsky hairs, uh, um, okay? So this is the most expensive, but it's uh, very nice for little details. This is from Umbro, okay? It's a detail brush too, but this is uh, synthetic airs. And for the main colors, I use these guys here, okay? It's more cheap. Uh, it's if you if you take care of your brushes, it's going to to have a long life. Normally. When they don't have a long life, it's because you you leave the paint dries and, and it's not good. Okay, so let's put this. Let's grab a palette. So many things, guys. I'm going to close here this box. So I'm not going to, to to make all this today because I don't have the time. So I sorry about that. Uh, but I will show pictures later of this. Okay. So for now, let's start painting. The first thing we are going to need to paint it's the uniforms. Okay. leave the, the machine gun for later because it's a more dark color and you need that later so let's grab this is no you don't go to search no more Russian uniform okay the guys from Vallejo have all these colors for figures and I think it this is the best work okay so little there now if I'm going to paint I don't have any problem to paint the base or the, the machine gun okay now my only problem is to paint the uniforms so I don't have too much problem to paint other areas okay when you put one drop of this, put one drop of water too, okay, at least. Because you want this to be thin, okay? So, as you can see, I am using a very big, this is a zero brush. Other thing, paint with bright colors, not too bright, okay? <laughs> but always a little more bright because when you are uh, you put the washes okay it makes lots of difference okay. I, I don't need to go there on the woods so now I'm going to remove the flake okay so I can which better on the sides 
so thin your paint okay if you put this very uh, heavy it's not going sometimes I don't know if it happened to you it, some when you dry it's leave marks of like kind of bubbles it's because you have the paint too thick okay you must thin that So try to, the, the only thing you try not to paint it's the faces, okay, and the ends, okay. Try to leave that. Okay. Now I have uh, the uh, brush. You can see. It's very open. Okay, the best way to do is just go on water. Okay, clean in the towel paper, and you can see here on. I grab and then put on my mouth and make the point again. Okay, I so I do this lot of times, and it's the best way to work. It's like this. In, even when I clean my brushes and put them for another thing, so I always leave the brushes like this, okay? So it's very easy with the synthetic airs to open. And sometimes you must do the thing I do lots of times. And the problem is it's not your brush, okay? It's because it's synthetic air and it's going to do that. Let me grab my glasses because the age don't it's bad. So I need glasses for some things. Okay. Okay, on this scale you don't have to be so got to be this so good, okay? Sometimes, if you paint this to make some kind of illusion, it's the best way, okay? So I just need a little more for the others. Clean again, clean again. So let me grab the other. Hmm, this flag. Let it stay there, okay? If you don't want to leave, don't be mad with me. <laughs> so. Let's go again and paint the other.
other than seeing if you paint this with very thick paint you are going to lose some of the details okay so it's not good to paint this thick it's better you to go and repaint more one time uh, two times or three times okay in that way you know you are making a nice job okay Okay. I'm painting the other bag. And I will put with dotted color and going to have another tone there. My problem here is the hands and the faces. Okay, I don't to put a different color there, okay? Just a little here. So I got all that painted. Okay. Now, if you want to go more pro on your figures. Uh, the step you must do it's to put um, a mix of a more bright color since you put imagine you put two drops of this and one drop of white or two drops of this and a little not a drop of black it's a little of black okay and you put that uh, mix very thin and you put there and it makes a different tone okay or you can go with make that change with oils okay but i'm going to use uh washes uh, and for that i don't worry too much okay if it's a, a, a other scale 135 or bigger it's it's uh we are talking a different way okay so like this for this this type of size it's the best way okay let me put here no flag okay so air dryer this is my best friend it's the air dryer it keeps me to work quickly and let me see here you see I see here a flaw so Let's go there. Okay, okay. Let me see the same spot on the other. Yeah, this that spot. I don't miss it.
So let's see how it goes. Okay. Now, next step, it's going to paint the helmet. Okay. And they, this this guy here uh, helping the machine gun, okay, with ammo, we have a bag here, and this bag it's going to be on another green, so you can see the difference of the greens, okay. This uh, it's a yellow olive. Uh, the yellow olive it's a uh, color used it for many uh, different countries, uh, so. If you could, if you want to go more historic, correct, the helmets for the Russians, there is no, no, exactly color because the, I know the helmets. It's done in several uh, factories, and on some factories the color change a lot. Okay, even on tanks. So, let's go and paint that. Helmets. So guys, as you can see, this is a more um, A little more thin paint. I know it so on this I don't put any water. You still you got some colors just by the name you know it's more thick or more thin. And I think you can see we got a different tone. So what this do to your figures, it gives life, guys. When I put the filter on this, it's not going to be uh, much different, okay? It's going to smooth and make a good transition on the colors. So just painting this back, okay? And guys, if you took pictures very close to your model, you see lots and lots of flaws. So, one trick to show your models on photos, it's uh, don't put your camera close, okay? Put away and make use the zoom, okay? When you are um, getting better, you can you see you can uh, at the, at at the time you can uh, put your camera more close, and and sometimes it's very good for you. Uh, I use that technique. I take photos very near of the model to see my flaws and to correct. Okay, so when I paint something, I take pictures very close and I see on the computer and then I see oh I got there a flaw I got that a, a missing spot so I can correct in some models I take about 200 or 100 photos okay just to see that flaws okay So I'm just using glasses, not, not any eyeglasses for this. 
I think the secret for this is uh, just to create the illusion, okay? And you can see we lose some hours on this, okay? No, I got that, so I'm going right away and paint. So let me grab the color. Oh, what I got here. First thing, guys, paint the boots. Uh, paint the boots. Uh, paint that. There, where I got that color? English uniform. Okay. Oh, another message. <laughs> you see I learn what I'm saying so take pictures uh, before the, when you finish the, the painting process take pictures and see okay take pictures very very close and then you see your flaws and then you can correct okay so now painting boots English uniform Oh my god, today I got lots of things, my friends. <sighs> so, English uniform. Let me see. Let me paint a little just to see if, uh, if is this I want here, and I think it's what I want here. So still continuing my detail brush from Umbro. Just there, okay. Guys, I believe when I said seen the paint, okay? And this part, we want to see some of the black, okay? Because of that stripes. So just put their water and get this very thin, guys. <laughs> yes. Just put here more. And other way you can do is just uh, put a little there with the moisture of the paint on the boots, and then we roll with the paint. And here I do a mistake, but I can correct. I paint the boot, but normally I paint the, the black. because it's a different tone for the primer, okay? So, turning and seeing 
What are you missing? So we got this ear, I can go, I will go with the other tone, but this time, so let me grab here again more paint and continue painting his boots. I just moving around. Let's go to the other. Turn around. Okay. So the boots, it's the color I want at the moment. Exactly, I know. So, just a little model air black. Okay, just a little ear, just to take there a little on the boots okay believe it, it's going to put a different tone good now let's go here Sometimes I go, I like to go with the model air because it's more thin, so I don't need to put any water there. It's true, my friend. It's true. So, done with this. Okay, so now let's grab other color, and the other color is going to be uh, what is it? Uh, beige brown. Okay. Oops. So now I'm going to paint this little pouncet's ear. This color is thin. Be careful when you are putting this. As you can see, we got here a different tone of the boots, okay? With more tones, you break the monotony. Okay, you see it? Now, I got here one stripe there and one stripe there. So I got to use um, the other brush for making that little line. But now, just painting this. And this, I'm sorry about the camera, but I uh, will try to resolve the problem. Okay, 
You see, you can see different tones, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to turn for the 10 zero to do, to do the stripe with the same color. So now I need to be more careful. You don't need too much. Now here on the sides, just give an illusion, okay, on of the belt, so it's easy to do that. Okay, just put here a little stripe. Okay, let's do the stripe here on the back. Okie dokie. So just here a little. So remember the position where you are grabbing the figure, it's this end must rotate and not the brush okay the brush you need to feel comfortable and the other thing you must move okay so now let's keep I'm going for the light the flesh skin tone and okay, let's put a different tone oh freaky freaky You see it? Yeah. Okay, just clean it. So with the same brush, let's put the flesh tone. And now it's time to be very careful. guys
if you make a mistake now with this color you can go again with the colors you are using the helmet on the ends too okay one done Okay, just using one drop. At this stage, you don't need to be perfect okay it's that why I set to paint this on black okay to have that shadows okay okay I forgot to paint here the ammo crate. Okay, I will paint the ammo crate. <laughs> Thank you, well, my friend. So it's all. So here I just must paint later ammo box. Okay, so let's go to the others. Um, the couple wagon it's going to be very um, uh, it's going to be easy to paint so I will finish uh, on that video these guys so I'm going to paint right now the continue painting the skin color and then I will go on the afternoon with uh, another video and make the rest okay I got an appointment uh, today and so I must leave and then I will come back. Okay. Oh just now. Need more paint. Okay. Let's go to this part. So at this point, um, these are very beautiful, very shiny, okay? So when I'm going to put uh, the washes it's, and the filter, it's going... It is all different. Just correcting here this.
just putting some water on the brush and go there it's smooth and make the transition more nicer it's in some areas okay here on the back of the, this helmet I need to put more paint it's uh, I miss here a spot so no problem okay now this end Okay. So let me see, I got here the green. And let's correct this. Smooth this transition. Okay. Here too, and let me paint the ammo crate. <laughs> okay, so painting this and it's great. We like this. Okay, so I will then for now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry about one more for the camera I, I know you cannot see because this not going to focus okay if I, you can see just the colors okay but I will put uh, on the next video I will paint the machine gun okay and the bullets okay it's going to be in the color of the bullets okay it's going to give uh, the different life and then I will paint the the ground and I will weather it okay so if the afternoon guys if you want to see it's I'm going to paint the couple wagon okay and I will finish this because I think it's let's see how it went okay <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching and I'm sorry about the camera one more time uh, I don't know what happened to the camera maybe it's just silly and uh, let's try to see if it's it works nice uh, on the afternoon okay so guys uh, I see you later uh, and thank you for watching bye guys <laughs>